All right, so here's the actual procedure. And it really matters where you put your hands. And my friend Rich Levitan talks about this. I had to figure it out by experience, and he'll tell you if you ever go to his course right up front. But so your non-dominant hand goes and actually holds between your thumb and middle finger the thyroid cartilage, which I have right here. And this leaves your index finger free um, for palpation. And now the scalpel, which is closed now because I don't want to make my resident scared, um, would be in your dominant hand, um, held as if you know how to hold a scalpel, with your uh, hypothenar eminence resting on the chest of the patient. And this allows you to have very controlled, even though your hands are shaking from stress, movements um, without uh, you know, this sort of thing happening. So I'll now reposition my hands how they were. So non-dominant hand, thumb and middle finger on the thyroid, touching membrane with, uh, with my index finger. I rest my uh, dominant hand on the chest. I'm going to cut from the thyroid through skin to the bottom of the cricoid, about a one inch incision. I'm now going to refeel the membrane through skin. I'm going to get my scalpel in there and I'm going to go towards me all the way. I'm going to flip, go away from me all the way, all the way in until I get until I could touch the back of the cricoid. At this point, I grab my bougie, and I'm gonna run the bougie along my finger and feel it enter the same space as my finger is, and only at that point does my finger come out. And now, and now the bougie will be advanced until I know it's past the sternal notch right here, so at least this much of bougie has gone in, and then I slowly and gently advance until I reach hold up. I've reached hold up now. At this point, I could grab the bougie, Place a 6.5 ET tube on top, and then railroad with a twisting motion the tube just till the cuff passes. Bougie's out, 